Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, this episode is part two of the uh, wooden chair repair here. And uh, so far I got sanded down as much as I could. Um, I'm satisfied. I probably overdid it a little bit. Um, the I've, I've used this stain before. And here's the... I've used this before, so... It's uh, this Minwax finish of uh, Ebony. What's it? which I used before on another chair on a different thing and uh, it's pretty dark and then I also got this which I still had for my last project but when I opened it it literally um, dried up but I did poke around and it seems like oh, it seems like that there is um, right there right there see that so I did poke around and it it's still there, just the top portion has dried up tremendously. Anyways, um, the only thing I'm missi missing is um, maybe some thinner because I am going to spray with uh, this as well. So it's, it is going to um, put that back on just so it won't get too much hair into there. And so, uh, after this, I'm probably going to throw this away. I don't think it's going to last the next time I use it. So when you get your thinners, your painter, um, your stain, your, um, your stain and your, uh, I'm sorry, your polyurethane, your whatever finish, um, uh, try to get the right amount because, uh, you know, you don't want to, have a lot and then waste it um, but I'm lucky that it's kind of still usable anyways um might get a little bit of maybe some lacquer maybe some lacquer would uh, would do it as well I'm not sure I'm gonna have to see what I have around here and uh, figure out um, what I would do anyway I need some thinning agent for this uh, because it's too it's probably too thick for um, the spray paint and so um, I'll go ahead and start with that um, got all this prepped I'm just gonna cut in and cut out real quick here and uh, here's my little setup here I'm using the trailer again um, you gotta watch out for overspray I am gonna use a stain and so uh, I'll try to do my best to do that. So this is my little setup here. Um, anyways, uh, it's better than being open. And uh, just watch out for the overspray because, you know, if you have uh, neighbors and, and all that, they're probably not going to appreciate the, the stain and the polyurethane <laughs> spraying over on their cars. And so I have something set up like this or do it in the backyard, somewhere out of the way. But um, I'm going to do it out here. And so, uh, hopefully the chair will look good enough and uh, we can start uh, staining and, and everything. So the only thing I'm missing is, uh, yeah, thinner. As far as the stain, I'm going to stain first and I'm going to do this later so the thinner part you can wait. Um, this is thin enough to actually just go right in your um, uh, spray gun. And so uh, that's what I'm going to use. I'm going I'm to spray it, actually. And I did that with uh, another chair, and it worked out pretty good. Um, and let the uh, stain soak in. I don't really rub it in. Uh, I'm not going for that kind of look. Uh, but depends. Uh, we'll see how it goes. But um, just spraying it, it really absorbs really well, yeah, especially if you, um, if you finished it, uh, you know, did all the preparation. So if you can see that it's really dull and... And so it should be able to accept the stain pretty good. Anyways, let me cut out and uh, I'll cut back in. All right, everyone, I'm cutting back in and uh, I ran out of stain. Um, probably have to get another one. Um, so far, this is kind of what it looks like. I did the top last. Uh, this is kind of what it looks like on the bottom, and it's uh, it's not kind of accepting. I'm not sure. Uh, this is kind of really old, so uh, I'm just trying to use it. Um, anyways, I may have to do a couple more uh, um, 
layers of uh, this stain. Um, after this, I may, I may even uh, take cloth and just rub it in, see if it, if it uh, will take it. Um, you can see some blotches here. I'm not sure what I'm going to do here, if that's the result of uh, uh, any leftover finish or anything. Um, in any case, uh, I'll give it a give it some time and just let it soak in right now because I'm gonna I'm gonna probably uh, re uh, put another layer on because obviously I'm not done with this side. Um, but this is kind of what it looks like on the front, and uh, I guess it all depends on uh, your taste. But uh, for some, this is uh, not very good. For others, um, this is all right. This is this works. Um, I have similar chairs like this uh, that are uh, in the house right now that I've uh, refinished, and uh, you know I I think this will work for me anyway. So uh, that's kind of what I've gotten done so far. I'll probably have to come back and uh, uh, finish up on this as soon as I get some. Uh, uh, more, I'll probably get a, some thinner to clean up the gun, of course, and also some more uh, stain. So uh, let me cut out and cut back in. Hello everyone, welcome back. Um, here it is, it's kind of done. Um, it is darker, um, a lot better. Uh, there are some little spots like right, there's a little bit of glare, but you can kind of see it on the camera really well um, some of its glare some of its like this part right there it's not soaking in but you know that's usually the butt end of the wood so it never really soak soaks in anyway uh, overall it's uh, taking it really well I had to buy another one and um, the old one I guess wasn't I should have shaken it up a little bit uh, this one's fresh off the store and so um, it actually stuck on and so, uh, of course, <laughs> use the uh, spray gun to do the stain. This is one of my first ones that I did. I don't know if you've seen an episode on this one. The first uh, Harbor Freight, uh, one of the first Harbor Freight videos. This is the actual, um, I'm not sure if this is the original. This might be, it looks older. Uh, still in use. Uh, so, a little stained, but... Uh, Put some paint in there. You, you can still work with anything for the most part. And then this is uh, just uh, well. Let me see what this is. No, I ain't gonna bother. I don't have gloves on. But that's paint thinner just to clean the um, the gun and anything else. So uh, overall, I, it looks it looks uh, because it's black. It's not showing very well here. Anyways, it. Uh, well, it's black, so uh, the ebony, ebony stain really um, does make it black, but it does show the grain a little bit, and that's kind of what, believe it or not, my wife likes, and uh, she likes the color black, and so, and uh, instead of painting it or anything, uh, just give it a dark, very dark stain. It covers uh, all the imperfections, and any mistakes any um you know and if it doesn't look that great that's okay because it's kind of supposed to look you know not that great so if you look at the leg you really can't tell i guess you can tell the difference by the grain but it's really hard to for someone who doesn't know it really doesn't make a difference does it so this is the part that's fixed it's black um you can see the places like where i glued here you don't really don't really see it that well because it's it's a dark color so anyways um, uh, that's it I think um, I still have to I still have a little bit of uh, the black stain or it's called ebony um, and I let this thing dry see how it looks dry it's a little wet obviously um, and see how it comes out because it could look different dry. You could probably see the grains a lot better, uh, the variations in the um, in, in how it soaked it up, I guess. Um, 
so I, I'll still probably have to, you know, do a little bit spot checking. Um, so that's why I still have a little bit left over. Um, for that, I might just get the um, smaller mini gun if I have to. I don't know if I will or not. It may come out just fine. I don't have to spray anymore. I really don't want to clean. Um, so I'll just cut out and cut in and uh, uh, again make sure when you do all this that uh, you uh, you can see all the uh, that's not a shadow those are all uh, stain sprays and everything here and here and so make sure that uh, you got some gear on and a breathing mask uh, some gloves and everything uh, because it can get pretty messy <laughs> very very messy so um, there you go and uh, cut out and cut in later. Hello everyone, I'm uh, cutting back in and uh, I'm going to use some of this leftover uh, polyurethane to do a clear coat. Um, mix it, thin it out because I'm going to spray it. And so, um, so I got this set up ready. And uh, here you go. It's uh, it's, you can see a little shine, and I had to do some touch-ups here and there. It looks like some places was not sanded down enough. Um, you kind of see it a little bit on the legs here. You might even see a little bit of color still left over this little edge. But uh, you kind of pick it up on the camera. But for the most part, um, if I back up, you can't really tell. And once I put a clear coat on it, then you really can't tell and uh, you know I, I like going darker in the color because then it's uh, it's harder to see the mistakes and everything so but uh, here you go let me, let me turn it sideways here uh, okay and uh, um, I see the little shine on the glue area right there and pull it back over here um, but again, once I put the finish on here, it uh, shouldn't really matter. It'll probably look uh, just as good. So, um, but anyways, when you, when I, like when I pull back here, let's see if it's focus here. Okay, so if I pull back, um, it's hard to tell between the oak and what this southern yellow pine that I made out of scrap material, uh, it looks like it's fixed. And so uh, once you put a clear coat on it, it should work. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to use this spray gun or the smaller spray gun. Um, I'll, I'll have to think about it. Um, I'll probably end up using this anyway. Uh, it just sprays a little further, and I just really need to get in there. Um, anyways, I'm going to probably use this again. I just cleaned it out and left it here. Um, should work. I'll put them. I'll put another piece, uh, some thinner in here to get that going. And uh, once I put the thinner in there, um, just to clean it out, uh, I'll put the polyurethane in there and another clear coat so all right I'll cut out and cut back in all right everyone I'm cutting back in and uh, I got my little setup here um, I thinned out the um, polyurethane with some lacquer thinner um, this is just for cleaning my, my spray gun here um, when you do a clear finish this is a cheap uh, spray gun, so don't don't feel bad if it, if anything goes wrong, go get another one. Um, but for any like clear finish or anything, um, after you're done spraying, like clean it right away, or else it's gonna you know thicken. So I, I didn't do a lot; I just did a, a little bit. Um, that's kind of what it looks like. Um, it is a little dusty out here, so you'll see some dust, some other stuff stick on it, but you can see a little shine on it. Um, the last time I did something with the chair, I only put one coat, and, um, 
it seemed to be good enough. I'll see if that's the case with with this. Um, if anything, I spent a lot of time spraying the the legs more than anything uh, because I think those are going to get a lot more wear and tear um, on the top part. Uh, it uh, well, basically there there was enough. There was enough spray. There was enough that I put in, and it should be enough. Um, I really don't want to have to spot spray anything, so um, but I think I was pretty thorough, at least thorough enough where where there's some kind of finish on it. So, anyways, um, there you go. Uh, if I have to put another coat on, I'll put another coat on. But uh, after this, after it dries for the most part, and it dries really quick, because I've done this before, but it may take a little bit longer because I thinned it out. But uh, after that. Um, I'll get some steel wool, knock off all the stuff that stuck onto it, and um, you know, just kind of rub it out there and, and see how it works. So it doesn't. Uh, again, this is kind of kind of going for a look of um, that this chair has been used, and so it doesn't have to be like storeroom finish, but um, a little bit of finish does help uh, give a little protection to that stain and to the wood and uh, gives it uh, a pretty good feel a pretty good look at least uh, again not doesn't have to be like storeroom finish but uh, basically um, something that looks like it's been used which works anyways uh, let me cut in and cut out and uh, take it from there bye all right everyone i'm gonna cut back in and uh, this is pretty much the results of it um, some parts are done really well, other parts aren't. This is just the first coating, but I'm not going to recoat it. Um, I'm just going to, for the most part, um, just take a steel wool and I'm going to try to knock off this, this dust. You can see, you kind of see right here all this dust on here and everything. So I'm just going to use this and just kind of just try to smooth it out for the most part as much as I can. Knocking off uh, a lot of the uh, um, dust and lint and everything. Um, you really need to be dust dust free when you do uh, clear staining. And uh, I'm, I don't want to put any more uh, effort into this. Although I can, I, you know, if you really want to make it nice, you could probably put another uh, coat on here. Um, probably does need to but I just wanted something to seal over the stain so uh, when you sit on it you, you just your you know your boat won't be uh, all black and everything from the stain uh, just to seal it in um, I gave it a, about a day and a half to uh, dry with the polyurethane and uh, some parts you know like right here it came out really nice and smooth um, but as you go down where I didn't quite spray completely uh, you can see it's kind of kind of a little rough, uh, but you know it, it is what it is. It's done. You can sit on it. Uh, it's repaired. It looks pretty good. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, um, just finish it up with uh, steel wool, and uh, I'll cut out and uh, cut back in and let you know when I'm all done. All right, everyone, uh, welcome back. Uh, here it is. Um, let's see if I could. Get a better view. Look at it. Okay, here you go. So uh, there, there it is. It's uh, still a little rough. You can kind of see how rough it is here, but uh, I did smooth it down as much as I can. I don't really want to do another coating on it because uh, it's quite a bit of work at just doing this couple, couple times. You know, a couple layers like this. Um, the whole point of this was to uh, just uh, get it fixed um, and get it working again and. Um, to a point where uh, it looks like a new chair, it's not a new chair, it looks used, it looks like you've been using it, but kind of new. Anyways, it doesn't have a showroom finish, but it, you know, has some kind of clear finish on it, so it should last for the inside. Um, it looks good because, uh, well, let me just kind of, well, let me see. Uh, you know, it, it works, right? It, uh, it's not, uh, you know, anything great, great, but at the same time, um, 
if you if you like uh, if you like to do things yourself and you and you and you like working with uh, uh, wood and doing spray painting and stuff like that, it's it's a good project to do because it's fun and uh, you put a little bit more life into it into a chair. So, anyways, um, it's going to conclude this episode. Uh, feel free to like, uh, dislike, leave a comment, uh, even a video response. Until next time, stay tuned.